Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So what we're gonna be getting into today is putting a new center console in the truck. I picked this one up out of a 03 Silverado. Got the glove box and the panel that goes under the steering wheel as well, because we need those to do the swap. It ain't the same color as my truck. Oh, I have my little helper too. So I did order up a can of paint that matches the interior. So I'm gonna put it in for now. And then when that paint comes in, I'll take it back out and I'll get it painted so it matches. And I also got it so, cause I do have another a little pieces that are scratched. So, so they match. I already took the other one out. I just need to take my seats back out and then pop that one in. Before I put the center console in, I'm gonna go take it to the car wash. I took the passenger seat out just so I can uh, clean all this out. I'm gonna go use their vacuum. So now that I got it somewhat cleaned up, let me take off the other seat and then those two panels. To take these panels off, you just, first off, you gotta take off the two, one there and then one over there on the bottom half. And then it's held in by clips on both sides. And then same thing with the glove box, it has a couple seven millimeter, no, yeah, seven millimeters on the bottom. And then you just pull it off and with the, cause it has clips on it. So it's gonna be still held up on there. And once you get it off, you can switch on the other one. And there's also three inside the glove box. One above here where the latch hooks up onto, and then these two over here. There it is with both panels off. It looks pretty naked. And if you wanna do the swap, you will need the glove box from that center console and the piece that goes under the string wheel. Cause so you can see this one's one whole long piece. And obviously this part's not gonna be there anymore. That's, that's where the center console goes. And the glove box is a lot shorter. So I need both pieces to, to do the swap. Here's with the center console in and both panels in. Like I said, they're different colors and it's a little, uh, it's not scratched, it's just like stained. So like I said, when the paint comes in, I did order already, I'll take this all out again and then paint it so it matches the dash and even the bezel because the bezel is like the same color as that. So I can make, have it match that graphite color. So let me get the seats back in here and it'll be complete. There it is inside of the truck. It looks a lot better than the jump seat I had in here. Plus that thing would rattle every time, just all the time. And I had to have my hand on it. And this is a lot nicer. I don't think this is gonna be the end of the video. I think I'll make a continuation on a different day. Once I get in the parts I'm waiting for, they're supposed to get here today or tomorrow. Hey guys, so it has been a couple of days. I did get the paint in right here. Um, I did spray it out. Let me show you guys those two pieces. They're a little dirty, but that's the OEM colored one. And this is what I sprayed out. They are dirty, but they're like identical. So I'm gonna get the center console out and I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do. Get it out. Uh, now I'm gonna start taping up everything like this here. I know it's pretty messed up. Uh, this black trim and all this black piece, tape all this up and only spray what's needed. I do have the cup holes over there and the other two pieces. I'm also gonna be painting the bezel cause it's the same color as the center console. So I can color match it too. <laughs> the center console is broken here. I'm gonna paint it for now until I get another one, until I order up another one. So yeah, let me start taping right, everything. Everything all mashed up and then ready to paint. I'll paint two of them and then show you the difference. If you can tell the Everything I'll paint it up. Here's the bezel. Um, one that goes under the steering wheel, top of the glove box. No, top of the center console, glove box, and then the actual center console. I remember seeing it all ashy and all beat up. Now I gotta put that back in, that just clips, that clips back in, and then I need to bolt in this whole piece. And I'll try uh, showing you guys all that. Everything unmasked and put together on that, for the most part, so I need to put that piece in right there. Got everything else in mass, so I'm gonna start throwing it back in the truck. There it is, all of it together. There is still a difference. Uh, maybe like out of 10. I'll let you guys decide, you can see right there. On camera, it looks a little more drastic, but it's still better than what it was. This thing was all ashy and ugly, now it's nice and painted up. And then I do have other parts to install, but I'm gonna wait for tomorrow. 